Okay, so now for some decoupage fun. All right, these decoupage rice papers are very easy to use. Um, they come in a ton of different designs, floral and otherwise. You can buy them from Dixie Bell, their Bells and Whistles line. You can buy them from Redesign with Prima. There's probably some other companies that have them as well, but they're, they're made for furniture. So I find them much easier to use uh, rather than say a tissue paper or a napkins and I've used both for decoupaging on furniture uh, when it comes to the tissue paper or the napkins you require Mod Podge or or some sort of other adhesive these decoupage rice papers apply with top coat which if you're a furniture painter or a furniture refinisher you already have on hand so no special product is required and they're a really inexpensive alternative to transfers transfers can be quite costly running you anywhere is between say 25 and 50 dollars whereas these rice papers you can buy anywhere is between i would say five and ten dollars usually and they have just as big of an impact. Uh, you can place them on all your furniture. You can pick and choose what parts of the furniture you want to place them on. Uh, and I find them a lot of fun to use. So I chose this colorful floral from the Bells and Whistles line. Uh, again, it's a little out of my comfort zone because it's quite bold just looking at it in the package, uh, but I'm so glad I tried it out. I started by removing the sheets out of the package uh, and then I cut off the edges. There's a little white edge around these papers, which I cut off. And as you can see, these papers are thin, they're porous, uh, so the top coat can get through them and it can adhere to the furniture nicely, but they're more durable than say a tissue paper or a napkin, so which makes it much more easier to work with. So again, I just took a pair of scissors and I cut off the white trim. After the border was cut off, I placed the design where I wanted it. And then just using my fingernail, I created a crease where I needed to cut it so it would fit inside the panel nicely. Now you could use your fingernail, it's definitely thin enough to do that, or you could measure if you feel more comfortable measuring, but either way you're going to cut your decoupage paper to size. As I mentioned, to adhere this decoupage paper, no extra products are required. Uh, I just used a clear coat, satin clear coat by Dixie Bell. You could use any any type of top coat that you have on hand and what I did was I just laid a layer of the top coat inside the panel where I was going to adhere the paper immediately after brushing on your clear coat is when you lay down your design you don't have to wait for it to dry or semi dry or anything you want to lay down the paper while it is still wet also I wanted to mention if you don't position the paper right the first time and you have to pull it up it's not a big deal uh, this is much more durable than tissue paper or napkins or some other papers that they have out there so you can actually pull it up and reposition it and it won't tear on you here I am positioning it and just with my fingertips I am making sure there's no air bubbles or creases in the design you might see me pulling out a little something and that's the fibers from the paper so if you have any little fibers that are sticking out you can just pull them out they come out very easily once I had it all laid down flat, I took a plastic putty knife and I just very lightly and smoothed, smoothly smoothed it all over just to ensure that any of the excess crinkles or bubbles were all out and that I had it in the corners perfectly. Then I took the top coat and I brushed it over again. So there's no, there's no waiting for this. It goes by quite quickly. Um, you just to seal it on you use the same top coat and you just brush it on while everything is still wet and that's all there is to it my first panel was laid down and now it's just rinse and repeat i pulled out my second piece of decoupage paper i cut off the trim i positioned it where i wanted it 
I used my fingernail to actually make the groove and give me a cut line. I brushed on a coat of clear coat, top coat, and laid my design down, making sure there were no air bubbles or creases. Once I had it looking exactly the way I wanted, I applied another top coat to the paper and then I went ahead and I just top coated the whole drawer since I had the top coat in hand. I repeated the same process for the second drawer and I have to say the apricot coming through the rice paper, I, I just love how this all came together. The florals look so beautiful on top of the apricot base. 